Hey guys, what's up? Mad Season here, back with another video for you. The 7.2 PTR was just updated, and the quest line to unlock more trays for your artifact was added. In this video, I'd like to show you where to start this quest, how to do it, and show you exactly what you get so you can get a good idea of what's in store for you for 7.2. Keep in mind that this is pretty early on into the PTR, and some of this stuff are placeholders, so some of it could change. So, as soon as the patch goes live, head on over to Dalaran and Cadgar should ask you to meet with them at Crassus Landing. Everyone's ready to begin their second assault on the Broken Shore since the first one went so splendidly, so that's where you're going. It's not too bad, it takes around 30 minutes and it's all soloable. Once you complete it, you'll have unlocked the Broken Shore zone and have a few quests in front of you. Talk to Cadgar and he should have a quest for you called About Those Greater Threats. This is the first placeholder that's currently up in the PTR as you can see by the quest text. So we're not sure if this will carry over to live or not, but to complete it you need to kill an enemy on the Broken Shore and loot a quest item. Note that for this to pop up, you need to have unlocked all of your traits for your artifact weapon, your golden border major ones, your minor ones, and one point into the damage increase trait that everybody unlocks, so 35 total. If you don't meet these requirements, you'll instead get a prerequisite quest called the Greater Power for Greater Threats. For this one, he just says come back once you've unlocked every trait for your artifact weapon. As for the quest item, the drop rate isn't too terrible. I got mine after about 5 minutes from an elite fell stalker on the eastern side of the island. The actual item is called a Gilded Scroll Case and it's of red cool origin. Upon looting it, you'll get a new quest to return to Cadgar and Dalaran and tell him of your discovery. This starts a fairly long quest chain, about 40 minutes if you're not rushing it. I'll try not to spoil too much, but it basically entails you visiting Suramar and Stormheim and tracking down God King Skolvald's daughter. You get some details on what happened to their lineage and help her through her trials to become a queen. It's pretty straightforward stuff and it's all soloable so you won't have any problems with it. I would go into more detail, but I kind of want to keep this video as spoiler free as possible so you can experience it for yourself. But around 40 minutes later, you'll be asked to return to Cadgar and Dalaran, and as a reward for helping out, the five guardians empower your weapon to finally unlock your extra traits. Now why they didn't do this before to help you, you know, save the world isn't really explained, but hey, pretty lights. Opening up your artifact tree will reveal what you just unlocked. True to their word, you have one new major trait, which is the one with the golden border another utility trait, and a new minor trait, with an additional point in all of your other existing minor traits. In total, this is 15 new points you'll be able to put in, so it'll take a good amount of time, but to help, the maximum artifact knowledge level is also increased to 40, which should be handy. Keep in mind that there's no point in saving artifact power. I mentioned this in one of my previous videos, but since then, Blizzard has stated that any AP you spend on your artifact past your 35th point will be refunded when you unlock the new traits, so there's no point in saving anything pre-patch. And another side note is that this should unlock the new traits for your offspec artifacts too. Here you can see that they're not showing up for my fire artifact, but that's because I haven't gotten 35 points on it yet. I can't confirm it right now, but I'm sure once I hit 35 points they should pop up. But that's about it. I showed you the arcane mage ones, but if you want to see every class, check the description because I'll have a link to a talent calculator in there. Anyways, I hope you found this video helpful. Give it a like if you liked it, and if you really liked it, let me know in the comments and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching, good luck, and peace.